Miles Davis, who tells me that when he sees plays like that, strong runs to the right, reminds him of the 1960s Green Bay Packers. Boy, those were the days back when the fullback actually carried the ball as well as blocked. Then you had a halfback. You had pulling guards, guys who could get out and run. And you can hear the great coach saying it back then. So we get a seal here and a seal here, and we run this play right in the alley. To throw is Daniels. Middle of the field, he's got McLaurin. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Two yards still to go, third down now. And to the air goes Daniels. Hard throw, incomplete. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They run for it with Harris. A nice little juke. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Fifteen more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. They've taken this opening kickoff and marched it right down the field defensively. Not much resistance. And that's the point, because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball right now. They know what they're doing. Their plan is working. But I flipped it over and watched and said, okay, what are you going to do to change things up? Because if you don't, they're going to put that ball in the end zone real soon. Second and goal from inside the five. Here's the option. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. It's a loss of four. Now third down. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. Now Jason Sanders for the field goal try. From the right hash here should be an easy one. Sanders' kick is good. And it's 3-0 Washington. Well, they moved the ball well there on the opening series. Running game was in sync. They were knocking on the doorstep, but ultimately, Charles, they'll have to settle for the field goal. But they certainly were moving it well and give this defense a ton of credit. Finally dug their heels in and forced the field goal. That's one of his game partner. Will this offense look back at this drive and think to themselves, if we'd gotten six, we'd be in a better spot. For well, the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. And no excitement. Unless, he, unless you're on the defensive team of last week in his numbers because the only excitement he really generated was the one interception he threw. Yeah, no touchdown passes. Yeah, and his team wasn't real thrilled about that. And they lost the game. So I know this week has been tough on him because he's been working hard. Fundamentals, footwork, finding the right targets. And bottom line, how do they get a win? These are his numbers from last week's contest. Five catches, 54 yards. And I'd certainly expect them to use him quite a bit because he runs excellent routes, has good hands, and knows how to get open. Here's Allen. Over the middle, the catch by Coleman. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. It's a gain of six. And the Bills first down. They run for the first time with James Cook. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Now we get a stoppage because, as you can see, a member of the commanders in some obvious discomfort. But hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. To throw, it's Allen. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Tyrell Dotson coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, 
And now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. This to the tight end, Kincaid. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Here's Allen to throw it. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. Charles, a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And they've got to figure out how to plug that leak a little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being hit, as you mentioned, they're moving the ball well. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. Throwing now is Allen. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. So matching field goals on our opening two drives. Yeah, it feels like two boxers feeling each other out here in the early going of the game, right? Exchanging some jabs, but none of the heavy stuff just yet. Each team with a possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football as they've got it second down and 11. Here's Daniels. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Well, backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing now is Daniels. And he is caught. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. That's a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? They should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not cause, easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. He'll get this complete to Senate, the tight end. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. Now Daniels. 20, 10, touchdown, Washington. Ben Simmons, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And Washington has taken the lead. 
good throw there, and I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put the work in in the offseason, and what I mean by that is understanding the playbook, not just the plays and how to execute them, but how to do it against a variety of defenses, also understands his team better, what they can and cannot do. You can see the confidence rising in him as he plays. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and the lead is now 10 to three. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Allen now looks to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Cook. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Allen. Well, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. The drive will start with an option going left. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Here now, second and four. Daniels looking to throw. That's into the hands of 2-2 Atwell. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. On first down, he'll drop to throw. That's into the hands of Akers complete. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll make it second down. That'll be caught by Bobo. So give him two yards there on the completion. And that's going to bring up third and two. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And Akers, he is not going to get there. They mark him short of the first. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Yeah, last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. And yeah, here come the Bills. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. Allen going to throw. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. They've looked his way quite a bit, and in my estimation, as well they should. Well, that's now five catches in this first half alone. And he picks up another first down. He's been an important part of their offense here early. 
And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. But he continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. And he'll get nothing out of that one. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Third down, here's a run by Cook. Now the Commander's going to burn the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Throwing to start the drive. Daniels. He'll dump this off to Akers. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Working out of the gun, Daniels. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And this will be caught by his big wide receiver. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. So nothing doing there, and that will bring up second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He completes this one to Terry McLaurin. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 14. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This a 31-yard attempt. Sanders kick is good, and they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening week hit. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll begin up north at MetLife Stadium over in New Jersey. And that one closing in on halftime with the Cowboys out on top. Dak Prescott has thrown a touchdown pass. We'll stay in the AFC North as we head over to Cincinnati to check on the Bengals at home at Paycor Stadium. And they currently trail in that game against the visiting Patriots. The Mario Douglas, a touchdown reception. Finally, let's get you to Baltimore to check on the Ravens at home at M&T Bank Stadium. As you can see the score there in the second quarter. Justin Fields has thrown a touchdown pass. The Commanders got a strong first half out of their quarterback, Jaden Daniels. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double-digit lead. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Bills' offense back out onto the field. 
And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Allen, swinging this out wide here for Cook. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. From the 44 now, here's second and four. Now Allen. That's caught by Kincaid, working the middle of the field. All right, call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Samuel in motion. Here's Allen. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Again, they'll throw with Allen. This taken in by Kincaid. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 32-yard line. To throw, it's Allen. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Here's Allen to throw it. Going to throw deep for the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing now is Allen. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. And they'll send the tight end in motion. Allen to throw once more. And this is Cook with a grab. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up second down. To the air, Allen. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll look to throw again, and it's caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Back to throw again. Flushed out right. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Tyrell Dodson able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Allen now on third and goal. Under pressure, and they got to him again. He loses a full five yards there on the sack, and it also brings up fourth down, fourth and goal. One thing that I liked about this guy during the draft process was his motor. Of course, I loved his skills, but he plays hard on every down. And that motor on full display there as he gets his first NFL sack. 
Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And able to get this out to the 25. First possession of the second half now for Washington. Play action, now it's Daniels. There's a short one pulled in by Simmons. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Eight yards on the pickup. Here's Daniels. Open man, there's Bobo. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. To the air goes Daniels. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Off the option, here's Akers. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Buffalo offense back out ready to go. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. In motion, the tight end. Now Cook running right. And he'll lose yardage here. Back to the 15. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Commander's Field. The Bills have the football, but they trail here as we begin quarter number four. Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And they have just not been able to block him at all throughout this game. Seems like every other play, He's doing something in the backfield. Already got two sacks. And now here's a tackle behind the line. Allen now looks to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And he will bring this one back. An interception return for the Commander's touchdown. But just to add that to the list of great moments for this defense today, they've really shredded that game plan on the other side all four quarters. And, Charles, that pick six, that's, that's kind of the cherry on top. Yeah, and they did it, and I feel like I'm quoting a bad movie line, but they did it together, didn't they? Fed off of each other, every big play they made, every tackle, every pick, everything they've done. They continually built energy in this one, and how about them culminating with a pick six? Extra point up and good by Sanders, and the lead now up to 14.
So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. We'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game with a good chunk of time on the clock. Now Allen to try again after the pick six. Open man is Samuel, complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. From the 38 now, here's second and a couple. Allen going to throw. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And Knox is going to have a Bills first down as he's up past the 45-yard line. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. And he's got some space here. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Now Allen. Looking for Knox on the crossing route. It's complete. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 16 yards, a little deja vu from the previous play where they got 16. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Now Allen. Throws the out route and completes it to Samuel. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. Here's Allen. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. And how about the big boys showing off the wheels? Let's face it. Anybody who watches a game, even if it goes against your team, when there's a big man with the football, <laughs> Everyone locks all eyes, in. Yeah. All eyes. Everyone locks in, and the rumbling, you can feel it all the way to the upper reaches of the stands. Here comes the commander's offense back onto the field. And they sit in a good spot, having the ball back after the fumble recovery and up two scores in the fourth quarter. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And for the defense, this is a spot where you don't want to totally sell out to stop the run, but you do have a pretty good idea of what you're going to see. And that's good work right there to keep them in check on that first down play. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. And this is the worry because sometimes you can get a little too predictable in spots like this. You know you're going to run the ball, but they know you're going to run the ball as well. And now you look up and you're staring at an important third down. Got a man right side. It's McCaffrey. And he's brought down short by a yard. It's a third down gain of four. A short gain that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. The kick by Sanders is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. Well, you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And now out come the Bills. 
And the complexion of this one has really changed a fair amount. That last field goal makes it a three-score game, so they need points in a hurry with time dwindling in the fourth quarter. Now Allen throwing to start the drive. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. To throw again on second down. Allen. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. That is caught. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now Allen again. Again, he'll find Samuel for the completion. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. This taken in by Kincaid. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Wide open receiver complete. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Dalton Kincaid. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Bills are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So that drives seven plays in length. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. And this is going to be covered up by Washington. The risk reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play. And here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage is switched to their opponent. Robinson up the middle. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. So it's Commander's football as we get back to it. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Robinson will try to pick it up. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Things looking much rosier for them here in week two. They work with the lead as they've got it first and ten. Robinson with another carry. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third down, Robinson. And he will have a commander's first down, and that should just about do it. 
48 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Washington about to close this one out as they are down to a knee. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Good bounce back win. They take the knee. Can't stop the clock defensively. Tough opening week loss, but now one and one. Shows that they handled things really well. A lot of teams panic after a week one loss, and they start to think that the sky's falling. This team realizes there's a long season, and they feel very talented, and they get it done in this one. So it's Washington getting the victory here. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach only stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle, go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them this one is now planted. So for the commanders, they at least get the win here to earn a split of their first two home games. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Bills, They'll drop to 0-2, and, and they'll try and turn things around next week as they have a date at MetLife Stadium with the New York Jets. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.